What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Saturday and we're going to see what we've got today. If the leaks were correct, the Evo that we've got today is going to be a big one. Like, the, debatably the biggest one um, that we've had so far. Is one of these new? FC Pro Twitch. Is that new? I think that might be new. Yeah, that is. Connect it. Oh, that's because I haven't done it yet, I suppose. Um, nothing new in live. Nothing new in seasonal or milestones. So let's have a look if it's here in the Evolutions tab. It's apparently going to cost 200,000 coins. And there's two of them. Oh, it's 100,000. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. For me, for selfish reasons, guys, this is the best Evo I've, that we could possibly have. It gives three pace, six shooting, five passing, four dribbling, and four physical. Max overall is 86. Max pace is 92. Max passing is 90. Max finishing is 88. Must not be a center mid. Position is right wing. And uh, play style pluses is max zero. It gives one passing, two dribbling, three physical, four volleys, three penalties, two pace, four passing, one star weak foot, three shot power, three long shots, one pace, five positioning, two dribbling, eight finishing, and Travella plus. Yeah, max zero play styles, but this is still a big look. At, oh, I mean, first of all, Bukayo Saka fits, which is delightful. Bukayo Saka goes three star, four star, not ideal. But very good dribbling, good shooting, good pace. Travella plus. Mm. Bukayo Saka fits. Barach Kalia fits. Talisk. Oh my days, this in form. <laughs> That's a bad card. That's a mad card. Um, this is this is mad. Oh, I don't want to start this. There, there is going to be some unbelievable players for this one. Some genuinely unbelievable ones. This is a big one, guys. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. Let's see what else EA have given us for today. I don't even care if it's nothing, honestly. That is good enough for a day's content. Um, <clears throat> we have got... We have a new player. No, we don't have a new player. We have a new upgrade. An 84 by 5, repeatable three times per day for five days. Just go and grind that and save that for team of the year. Um, what is it? An 82 rate squad with an inform. Nice. Informs are probably going to fly up now as well, based on that. I would not be opening those now. I would definitely be saving those for team of the year. Otherwise, no new upgrades. Challenges, nothing new here. Icons. There he was. There he was. He was rumoured to be coming. And there he is. Paolo Maldini. Four-star weak foot. Six foot one. Just a beast of a card. Doesn't have the best play styles, but I don't think he needs to because he's an insane defender anyway. Only 11 segments. Bronze, silver, and an 83. An 83. An 86. Two 87s. Three 88s and an 89. That's not even that bad. That's not even that bad. And then in store, yeah, very grindable. Especially through Team of the Year, that'd be very grindable. In store, we've got the Global Limits packs. No 10-coin pack today, unfortunately. Ooh, we've got an Ultra Versus pack. 14 rare golds, 88 or higher. Jesus Christ. 14 rare golds, 88 or higher. That's an unbelievable pack. Processing, processing, processing. Come on, there we go. Thank you. That, that's that's genuinely an unbelievable pack. My game's going to freeze, isn't it? My game's froze, isn't it? EA, please. Game's froze. I'm still going to go and open that pack. And then I'm going to go and have a look at what my Geo Kiros becomes. Oh, EA. I think I'm about to have the best card in FC24, and I'm pretty sure no one will have a card. No one else will have this card. I'm pretty sure. 
Fair play to EA. This is a big one, man. Yeah, it's available twice as well. I will 100% be doing it both times, either on Gio Kiroz and Saka or Gio Kiroz and Emil Smith-Rowe. Palmer's inform goes in. There, there are some big, big, big cards that go into this. Some big cards. Let's get ourselves this... Uh, yeah, Saka fits. But he's got better cards already in the game that would probably be better to buy. This is a huge pack. Surely we've got... It's an icon. I'm not surprised. It's a Polish icon. It's a Polish striker icon. <laughs> Lewandowski, Polish striker icon. That's mad. Lever, 90 rated and... Ah, oh, Hierro. Never mind. Look at that. That's, I mean, I mean, that's all right, man. It's not ideal, but it's, it's all right. It's all right. Um, before we go and look at the content on Footbin and Foot.gg, man, one of them needs to pay me to just not use the other one. Do you know what I'm just saying? I'm just throwing it out there. If, if, if one of you guys wants me to use exclusively your site and not the other one, I will. Just pay me. Before we do that, I need to go and look at Geo Kiros. Could do a lot of Maldini with that. But yeah, precisely. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Geo Kiros, you are about to become... The greatest thing. Oh, was it an 87 plus guaranteed icon, was it? Jesus, that's mad. So a guaranteed icon and all 88 plus is guaranteed. And some player picks as well, which don't really matter, but that is a pretty mad pack. That is a pretty mad pack. If you guys got the, if you guys want me to open those packs for you, those store packs. Didn't stream snipe, bro. Wait, was that the guy I just played? Oh, the 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 guy the guy that the guy that didn't stream snipe managed to message that he didn't stream snipe, and he was eight and one when I was three and one. Good matchmaking, EA. Um, where's this Evo? Don Jin Woo, genuinely team. Oh, I'm excited! I'm excited! Oh, guys, Evos are the, until you actually get into a game and play with them. But until then, they're the best thing. Can we just take... Oh, please. Oh, look at it. Five-star weak foot. And then, are you ready? That's wild. Low reactions. But otherwise, insane pace, insane shooting. Decent passing now as well with very good curve. She'll have Traveller Plus with finesse shot and rapid and quick step as well. And then agility, balance, ball control, dribbling, top tier with good composure as well, without a chem style. <laughs> That's an insane card, isn't it? <laughs> We're the five-star weak foot. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, no way, does Pepe fit in it? Oh, he does. Oh, I might have to put Pepe in here. Four star, three star. Ah, oh, he's just a bit shy, isn't he? He's got some good stuff, but just not not quite what I want. And then Gabriel Jesus fits, which is an interesting one. But he's already got like a, a Thunderstruck card, so it's a bit pointless. And then a Mill Smith Row. Brilliant. Brilliant. Let's go and have a look at Foot.gg because oh, the game can't handle the swaz, man. It can't. The game can't handle the swaz. <clears throat> so, SBCs. Maldini, surely thumbed up. Yeah, obviously. Only a million coins. Isn't he like 1.3 on the market? Oh, he's not anymore, but he was. Man, that's a really... Look at that. Actually, up until recently, it was 1.7 million on the market. Even this is thumbed up, and it should be too. I'd, I'd be, I would be grinding that and saving for team of the year. Maldini's a good one to grind. Love that. Uh, there wasn't any new objectives today. Oh, yeah, see, FC Pro Season 4. I thought I saw something there. Oh, when does this start? I didn't even see. January the 8th. So two days we get match day five. Um, and then next weekend we get match day six. The weekend after match day seven, the weekend after match day eight, and you just get some nice stuff for watching it. So worth it, worth it anyway. Evolutions. 
eligible players. So Phil Foden is eligible. I don't think they've got the upgrades correct. But even, even so, these cards are crazy. Five star, four star on Kingsley Coman. That's a mad one. Kirby triple threat becomes a beast. Oh, yeah. Four star, five star. Outrageous dribbling. Good pace. Great shooting. Good passing. That's a very good card. High medium work rates as well is quite nice. I think, I think Josh has spammed me with a few to, to look at here. Oh, he has. Baba Day would stop right there and then finish a one or two. Do you know how I know in, internally that Team of the Years are going to have two playstyle pluses? Because these are like, they're not Team of the Year level cards, but they're so good for an Evo. That is a really good card. Sivelek, a silver. Budding style at one and two. Crossing Crusader into finisher. Three star, four star. Great pace, good dribbling. Passing, defending, that's a nice card. Salmon, like a fish out of war, isn't she? Four star, five star, oh my days. Look at all those play styles as well. That is a cracking card. Rumor, so you said G John Woo. Travella plus acrobatic power shot, rapid. Quick step, first touch, ticky tacker, press proven, four star, five star, high low work rates, can play striker. <laughs> oh, even probably maybe a hunter, maybe like a dead eye. Oh, that's outrageous, isn't it? Maybe a finisher doesn't boost dribbling enough. His dribbling's already cracked. Maybe a marksman. That is a that is a genuinely unbelievable card. And he's got an active thing now. Founders 2, Founders Upgrade, Budding Startlet. Stop right there, Budding Startlet and Finisher. He goes from a bronze 62 left wing. Oh my good lord. Bruma from Bruma. Low reactions and composure, but otherwise nice stats on him. Oh, there, there's... And Yomi... He's got five star, five star. Insane physicals as well. That's a good card. Isa Huku. Jesus Christ, look at that. Four star, five star on him as well with some really nice play styles. Four star, five star on him as well. Oh man. These cards are just unbelievable. Four star, five star on Scov Olsen. A little low on uh, reacts and reactions and composure there as well. Juan Garcia. Juan Garcia. Started as a 70 rated right mid. <laughs> Look at that. I bet he's tall as well, isn't he? Because he's got good heading accuracy. No, he's only five foot six. That's surprising. I like. When I click on my evolutions now. This is like, this is such a sick Evo. Like, such a sick Evo. I'm, I'm, hopefully this comes in quick, but. Yeah, there's. If we go to Evolved Players. Sort. By, uh, total win game stats. Oh, this is the, these are the ones you basically showed me, Josh, isn't it? Some of these. Look at this guy here. Three star, four star only. Plays for Burnley. Unbelievable dribbling. Very good shooting. Good pace. Good physicals. So my evolutions. Where is she? Gio Kiros. The one upgrade. Young for Celtic becomes unreal. Who, Josh, are we doing in the shitters? Who is it that we can put into this that becomes insane now? Do not do John Jin Woo. I did him a week ago and the Tracortista Evo messes up his car by giving him a wrong boost. 
So, so that that is a problem with it, right? Is some of the boosts where it goes wrong. But I think this John John Ji Woo doesn't have Trick Ortiz in it because it's finished now. This is an active path. Which is quite nice. I'm going to have to look at uh, Gio Kiros this way, aren't we? So I have her as an 85 Centurions. This is where my Gio Kiros is going to go to. Got to be Horam. Yeah, Hor Horam has got to be the one, hasn't he? There's guys, this 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 for me, it's it's weird, right? Because like days like today, I get like overexcited and I'm like, this is amazing. I can't wait to like improve this person and get these people into my team. And this is what Evo should be about. And I do believe this is what Evo should be about. But also like they can't put these sort of cards, these sort of Evos out every three days or whatever, because everyone will just have like 90 rated um 90 rated teams that are Evo teams, won't they? Which path does he go, Josh? Geo Kiros, man. This card. I think I do think they've got the stats a little bit wrong. I think she was a bit better when I actually looked at her in game, wasn't she? Either way, this card is outrageous. What do I do? Do I do an engine? Delightful. A hawk? Delightful, 99 pace, 99 shooting, great physicals, five star weak foot, Traveller plus and finesse shot. Yeah, see, this this hasn't got a, he's got rapid. It hasn't got a quick step into it either. I must not have done that path. This is the path I must have done. Yeah, this is the path I did. Quick step, there you go. So I put a hawk on her here. 99 pace, 99 shooting, great physicals, great dribbling, five-star weak foot, high-low work rates, and can pass a little bit now. Just hang about Monday before submitting would be my advice. So Horam. Wait, does Horam not even fit into this? What's it called? Oh, is it not? It doesn't show it, does it? Johnny Marlon looks like R9. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's have a look. Founders 2, Founders, and then Finisher. Five star. <laughs> That's an unbelievable card, isn't it? Five star, five star. Insane pace, insane shooting, great physicals, good passing, very good dribbling, trickster. Not his best Evo path because he's too quick, so I can't do budding starlet. Oh, okay. Man. Have I checked Alvarez? Yeah, I, I heard Julian Alvarez could go into this. He had like a, a previous Evo, didn't he? Up to Centurion Striker. So he's 4-5, press proven. Again, it, like this is a game-changing one, isn't it? Bizet from Spurs looks nuts. This is a game-changing one. This is going to allow basically everyone. What do you have her on, Matt? Up to an 89. This is a big one. When I try to do apply to ESR every time my game crashes. Yeah, my game crashed as well when I looked at someone doing it. I wonder if there's any like popular players in uh, .gg now. Trending players. Odin. Sterling doesn't fit it. So Palmer's in form. This could be a really nice one. That is a really nice one. Four star, four star. Doesn't have the most play styles, but really, really nice. Send me one more. Best ever 86 rated card. So Hansen from uh, NEC Nijmegen, 93 pace, 92 shooting, 91 dribbling, 5-star, five 5-star, five 87 passing, 81 physical. Little low on reactions, but that's absolutely fine. 
Insane short pass vision and curve. Great physical. Yeah, this is a wild card. We pop a hawk on him. That is a just an unbelievable card. Dontia Hansen. Oh, that's yeah, that's 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 him, yeah. Yeah, Bizet gets very good as well. Guys, we could sit here looking at these all day. We could, like, that, that's it. <laughs> I've, I've got to end the video at some point or another, but we could sit here looking at these sort of players all day. I want to use show expired, apply filters. I want to see now who has the most in-game stats if you would have done the correct, uh, the correct paths. Because I reckon we could see some new beast players now. Year in year 89. Yu Jing. He, does, does he use... Uh, I want it to like include... Uses all of except Finisher 1 or 2. Let's apply the filters there. I want to kind of just see with this new, new thing who the best are. You can't look at players. Yeah, is it the foot or GG is a bit slow because everyone's just on looking at the players, right? But either way... I mean, there's some Etamage. There's some crazy Evos available for everyone right now based on this. You can go and get that Maldini as well. I mean, th this, is, this is just the best Evo. Like, Pep's legacy was insane. I think Finisher is, like, the best Evo we've seen because it enables some very good players to become insane players. Like... Oh, Otavio's the top guy. Anderson Talisker is up there. That Sané is up there as one of the best. Look at that. That's crazy. Baltimore's there as well. Yeah, see, Anderson Talisker, 89. That is a wild card, man. It just, it just enables some very good cards to become amazing cards. And Pep's Legacy did the same thing, but I think this one's, I think this one's better, personally. So you can get Palestri now up to an 88. <laughs> That's a ridiculous card, isn't it? With some really, really good play styles as well. Um, oh, hold on, guys. Sorry, I forgot. There's, there's, there's a mini release. I didn't even know, man. So we've got Firmino, Upa Meccano, and Danny Olmo. So Firmino, striker, five-star, four-star. Decent card. Nothing crazy, to be fair. He's got two less pace, one less dribbling, nine less defending. Same physical, four less passing. Jesus Christ. But look, other than the shooting, this one's a centre mid with uh, five star, four star as well. Decisive pass plus. This one's got good dribbling. Ah, I'm, not the, I'm not the keenest fan of either of those Firmino, Firmino cards. I can't lie. We've got Upamecano centre back and right back. The right back does not have capability to play centre back either. Has block plus, great passing, other than stamina, great physical, and doesn't have a physical, uh, doesn't have a relentless, which is a shame. With a shadow, great pace, great defending. If you could move this card central, yeah, as a centre back, he'd be a beast. As a full back, I probably personally wouldn't. Um, and then the centre back version, got two less pace, 19 less shooting. Wow, man, EA, man. They've given him two less pace, 10 less dribbling, 19 less shooting, 12 less passing for one defending and physical. That's really poor. Three star, four star, intercept plus, same play styles as well. That's really poor. This, this ice one will be, is worthless. The fire one is way better. And then Danny Olmo, five star, four star. He's got three pace, four passing versus two dribbling, four shooting. It makes a bit more sense. Weird pace split, though. Don't like that very much. No defending, poor physicals. I mean, maybe it's just because I've been looking at all of these beasts that are from um, the Evos, but none of these cards interest me at all. No, Danny Olmo's got some nice play styles and such, but none of these cards interest me. I think they're all, like, bang average. Even from Eno, who you would think would become... A good player. 
He's got good luck like, face card stats, but nothing outstanding here. Maybe maybe we'll have to do like the play test on him because his play styles and, and his five star, four star might make him feel like real, real nice. I'd probably go for the centre mid version myself as well. Yeah. Firmino is definitely the best, but I, I, I wouldn't personally care uh, too much. Um, but that is going to be the end of the video, guys. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.